Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Max Sterling's channel, where we dive deep into the world of success, ambition, personal finance, and practical wisdom. Today's video is going to be a game changer, so listen up, my intelligent and driven friends. Let's kick things off with a story about my grandma. She was given a death sentence by doctors, confined to a wheelchair with end-stage heart disease. But then she discovered a program that focused on lifestyle changes. Through a plant-based diet and exercise, she defied all odds and walked out of that wheelchair. She went on to live another 31 years, enjoying her family and inspiring me to pursue a career in medicine. You see, during my medical training, I uncovered a disturbing truth. The power of lifestyle changes in preventing and treating chronic diseases was being ignored by mainstream medicine. It baffled me. If the cure for our number one killer, heart disease, could be buried, what other life-saving information was being overlooked? That's when I founded NutritionFacts.org and wrote the book, How Not to Die. I wanted to bring this life-changing knowledge to the forefront. You'd be surprised to know that people greatly overestimate the power of pills and procedures to keep them healthy. They rely on drugs that offer little benefit, while ignoring the potential of cleaning up their diet. In How Not to Die, I tackle the 15 leading causes of death, from heart disease to cancer to depression. But here's the exciting part. We have tremendous control over our health and longevity. By adopting a plant-based diet and healthy lifestyle choices, we can prevent, arrest, and even reverse these conditions. But I didn't want to stop at providing information. I wanted to give you practical guidance. That's why I developed a traffic light system to classify foods into red, yellow, and green categories. And I created the Daily Dozen Checklist, which outlines all the essential foods and habits to incorporate into your daily routine. Imagine a diet that can reverse heart disease, our number one killer. Shouldn't that be the default diet for everyone? And did you know that nutrition is the number one cause of death and disability in the United States? It's time we address this issue and prioritize healthy eating. But here's the challenge. Doctors are not adequately trained in nutrition. They lack the education and tools to guide their patients towards healthier choices. There are institutional barriers and influences from the pharmaceutical industry that hinder progress. It's reminiscent of the smoking epidemic in the 50s, where the science was ignored and public policy was slow to react. But we can't wait for society to catch up. We must take personal responsibility for our health and the well-being of our loved ones. It's a matter of life and death. So, my intelligent viewers, what actions will you take after watching this video? How will you implement the power of nutrition in your own life? If you found this video valuable, I encourage you to support our channel by subscribing, liking, and hitting that notification bell. By doing so, you not only show your commitment to your own success but also gain access to all the benefits and insights we provide. And before we wrap up, if you feel the value you received from this video deserves a tip, you can find a link in the description to show your appreciation. Remember, it's all about supporting each other on this journey towards success and personal growth. Thank you for joining me today, my ambitious friends. Stay curious, stay hungry for knowledge, and keep striving for greatness. Until next time. Hey there, Max Sterling here, and today we're going to talk about a common question I receive from many people on their self-improvement journey. They've been working hard to turn their lives around, adopting new habits, reading books, hitting the gym, but they're struggling to cut out certain things that seem to pull them back. So, what should they do? Well, today we're going to dive into the topic of rewards and how to feed our primitive monkey brains in a way that supports our personal growth. But before we get into that, let me share an interesting insight with you. Did you know that certain things feel good because they satisfy an ancient part of our brain? which I like to call the monkey brain? It's been around for millions of years and its main job has always been to keep us alive. Back in the day, high calorie, high fat, high sugar foods were scarce, so we evolved to seek them out. The same goes for things like sex, entertainment, and socializing. 
They all satisfy the monkey brain and make us feel good because they indicate that we're doing things right and living life correctly. However, in today's modern world, these things have become incredibly accessible, leading to bad habits and even addiction. Many people approach self-development with the idea that anything pleasurable is bad and should be completely avoided. But here's the thing, if you starve your monkey brain, it's going to act out and cause you to relapse. Trust me, I've seen it happen with many clients and in my own life. So, what's the solution? It's all about incorporating pleasures into our lives in a balanced and intentional way. There are three types of rewards to consider. The first type is negative sum rewards, which provide immediate relief but come with negative consequences down the line. These could be things like excessive drinking or eating junk food. They relieve stress in the moment but cause more stress later. The second type is zero sum rewards. These don't have serious negative consequences, but they also don't provide significant stress relief. Examples include playing video games, watching TV shows, or mindlessly browsing the internet. While these can be enjoyed in moderation, they can also take up a lot of time. Now, the third type is where the magic happens positive sum rewards. These are powerful rewards that significantly reduce stress without negative consequences. They're the ones we want to focus on incorporating into our lives every day. This could be something as simple as enjoying a delicious, nutritious meal, getting a massage, spending quality time with a loved one, or engaging in a hobby you truly enjoy. Now, here's the key. It's essential to reward yourself after doing something challenging or working hard. This creates a habit loop and ensures that the habit sticks. If you work out, reward yourself with a healthy, delicious meal. If you engage in deep, focused work, reward yourself with a few minutes of relaxation or a hobby you love. By incorporating positive sum rewards, you not only keep your monkey brain happy and satisfied, but you also make progress in your personal growth journey. Now, I want to emphasize that self-improvement is not about deprivation. It's about finding a balance between hard work and play. So, remember, work hard, but reward yourself strategically to keep your monkey brain satisfied and motivated. Before we wrap up, I want to mention something exciting. I've partnered with Skillshare to offer you an amazing opportunity to continue your learning journey. Skillshare has over 22,000 courses on various topics, from photography to videography, business, and writing. It's a great way to acquire new skills and further enhance your personal growth. The best part is, if you're one of the first 300 people to sign up using the link in the description, you'll get two months of Skillshare for free. So, to all my ambitious and intelligent viewers, what actions are you going to take after watching this video? How will you incorporate positive sum rewards into your daily life? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you found this video valuable and want to show your appreciation, you can give a proportional tip based on the value received. The link will be in the description. Stay tuned for more valuable content, and until next time, keep feeding that monkey brain the right way.